Here, I'm going to show you how to make an easy cell change tracker in Excel. So we do something when someone changes the value of a cell to something other than what it was previously. So 9 becomes 11, 10 becomes 12, and so on. And I did show you how to make a more complex version of this in a previous tutorial. More complex, more robust, a lot more involved though. And I'll put a link to that tutorial below this video in case you're interested in it. But this one is not going to require too much VBA. I'm going to make it as simple as possible. Now, of course, the more VBA you know, the more you can automate Excel and the more time you can save. And I have a full course that'll take you all the way from beginner and intermediate level to advanced and expert level with VBA and macros in Excel. If you want to save time, if you want to learn how to automate your tasks, I highly recommend that you check out that course. I've also got a link to that below this video. Now let's get to the cell change tracker. There are really two parts to it. Let's say that we want to track cell B5. It is currently, how about 10? And if someone changes it to 11, we want to do something. And the part that we have in the worksheet is to track that change. So let's color these two cells right here. This does not all have to be on the same worksheet, but I'm going to put it here on the same worksheet to make it a little bit easier. So what you want are two cells. Let's call this one previous and how about this one current and current is going to be equal to the current value of the cell that we want to track and this one is going to be the previous value let's say that right now it's 10 and we change it to 15. this says 15 and this should now say 10. that way we can compare it to see if it has changed or not and all we need to do that is a little bit of code in the back end that will do two things. Run when this cell changes, and then put the previous value into this cell. And then of course after that you can run whatever code you want to run. And remember that this does not at all have to be in the same place as this cell right here. But now it's time to add the VBA, so let's hit Alt F11. Go to the VBA window, and what you want to do from here is to click on the worksheet or double click on the worksheet that has the cell that you would like to track. And then up here on the left where it says General, click Worksheet. And over here where it says Selection Change, go ahead and click Change. We can remove this part. And right here, this is where events go, and an event is a section of code that's going to run automatically when a user does something within Excel. In this case, when they change a value within sheet one, this code is going to run. And what do we want to do? We want to see if B7 is the same as C7. The very easy way to do that is if worksheets, the name of the sheet with the cell that we want to track, worksheet sheet one dot range c7 dot value does not equal and then the fully qualified reference for b7 sheet one dot range b7 dot value then end if so if we get here, the previous value does not equal the current value. So the cell value has been changed. So we want to do something. Put your code here to do whatever you want to do. Let's just give it a nice simple message box for now. So we make sure it's working. And now we just want to set B7 equal to C7. So set the previous value equal to the current value. And we can copy uh, this guy to do that. And set it equal to C7. So I just changed the range reference right there. And this is all the code that you have to have to track the change and to update it. But we need one more little thing to make sure that we don't end up in a continuous loop because this runs every time a cell is changed and we are changing a cell right here. So we do application.enable events equals false and set it to true at the end. So that says, hey, don't run events anymore while we are in this event. 
and then we run some code, and then we set it back to true so it can run the event if it needs to in the future. And back to the worksheet, let us set this equal to 15 right now. Nothing should happen, but now let's change it to 20 up here. And there we go, message box hi. And once I click OK, that should go from 15 to 20. And that's all there is to a very simple cell change tracker in Excel. And you can have as many cells tracked as you want. All you have to do is to repeat this section of code as many times as you need it to for every cell that you want to track. And yes, that is very tedious. And if you want a simpler yet more complex way to manage this, check out my other cell change tracker tutorial, which I have linked below this video. And also check out my full VBA course that'll teach you how to automate pretty much everything you need to automate in Excel. It's going to make your life so much easier. And I've got a link to it below this video. And you get email support with me when you're taking that course in case you get stuck on anything.